Like many games, Amnesia The Dark Descent is set in a dangerous world. But unlike most, you play a most ordinary man. So it is really important that you feel in total control of your character, that you are able to execute your plan for survival. Frictional games has always been on the forefront of involving physics in an interesting way, and we use it not only to simulate the real world, but to allow you to interact with it in some pretty cool ways. Let's take a look at objects. To study an object, simply pick it up, turn it over, or why not take a closer look? This easy handling also makes it a breeze to do things like stacking or jamming. As you become aware that these options are available for just about any object in the game, exploration becomes effortless and natural. This amount of precision is further demonstrated by doors. There is no more click to open, instead you physically pull or push the doors. This is very useful as it allows you to carefully peek into the next room, keeping an eye out for danger. The mechanic is extremely versatile and also lets you do things like hide in a closet, opening it just a little bit to see if it is safe to come out. These actions are so readily available that there is no longer a need to remind the player with help texts what can and what cannot be done. As the world acts naturally, it isn't difficult to figure out how to deal with new situations. Simply open lids, operate levers or wheels. Allowing natural behavior is what makes the experience so smooth and in turn so much more immersive. Physics helps us to create the illusion of truly being inside the game, and frictional games consider it to be one of the cornerstones of the virtual nightmare that is Amnesia The Dark Descent. <laughs>